And now here's our third example of how you find the image when you place an object in front of a concave mirror. Again, concave mirrors have positive focal lengths. In this case, the one we, we have as an example here has a focal length of 25 centimeters, meaning the distance from the mirror to the focal point is 25 centimeters, which means the distance from the mirror to the center of curvature is 50 centimeters. There's our object placed 15 centimeters away from the mirror, which means it's closer to the mirror than the focal point. So here things are a little bit different. Again, we're going to find the image using a graphical method. The first ray that we draw is parallel to the normal until we hit the mirror. When we hit the mirror, it gets reflected through the focal point and it goes this way. So that's ray number one. Of course, don't forget that we have an observer. An observer is looking into the mirror like this. So the little eyeball right here represents our observer. The second ray that we draw is from the object through the focal point to the mirror. Now we have a little problem here because we're already past the focal point. So what you do then is you draw a little dotted dot line from the focal point to the object and then you continue on from there until you hit the mirror. My mirror should be a little bit longer. There we go. Now we fix that problem. And then of course the ray will get reflected and will get reflected parallel to the normal going back this way. So this is ray number two. And where the two meet, that's where the image is. However, the rays don't appear to meet. The rays seem to be diverging. <clears throat> so there's no real place where they come together and form an image. However, the brain of this person looking at this event here sees a ray coming from this direction, sees a ray coming from this direction, and so the brain then interprets that, hey, they must both be coming from this single point if we then extrapolate these rays out over here. And of course, what I need to do here is get rid of my text here, because it's getting in the way. All right, so the brain says, ah, I see this ray coming from back here somewhere. And oh, I see this ray coming from back here somewhere. And what happens is the brain seems to think that there is an image here causing these rays to, um, to diverge like that. If we now continue drawing the normal past the mirror like this, and then we can draw the image from there to there, and so this would be the image. Now since the image appears behind the mirror, it would be a virtual image. It's not really there, because images can appear behind the mirror. It just seems that way by looking at these, um, these rays coming from behind the mirror like that. All right, so mathematically, let's find out what the numbers are. So first we're going to find the position of the image. So we have S prime is equal to SF over S minus F. And this pen is kind of drying out, so let me grab this one. Okay, numbers. S, image distance 15 centimeters. Focal length was 25 centimeters. Image is 15 minus the focal length 25. So that would be, um, hmm, looks like 375 divided by a minus 10, which is a minus 37.5 centimeters. All right, what does that mean? The image is 37 and a half centimeters away from the mirror, but with the negative, that means it's behind the mirror. So this distance right here is 37.5 centimeters. The negative place is behind the mirror, which would then indicate that it is a virtual image. So I is virtual. Virtual means it's not a real image, it's just an image that the brain conjures up by seeing those rays apparently coming from the single point right there. Okay, now for the magnification, m is equal to minus s prime over s, so it's minus the negative 37.5 divided by s, which was a positive 15, and so this is a positive 2.5. So what that means is that the image is two and a half times the size of the object, and since it's positive, that means the image is upright. So we can just write that it's upright, and there's the answers. We have the location of the image. It's behind the mirror, 37 and a half centimeters. It therefore is virtual. The magnification is two and a half times the original object, and it is upright because the magnification is positive. And that's how you do that problem.